evening and hello. My name is Renee D. Waring and I am the founder of Uniquely and Wonderfully Made Ministries. Welcome to you all and a special welcome to the new members of my community. I am glad to be able to meet with you this evening. I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. Our minds was great. I wish to share with you a heartwarming true story from my childhood. I am thankful for my dad. Oh, I said, my hands are cold and so was my face. It was a cold, windy winter day when I was four. My heart jumped for joy as I played in the snow making and throwing snowballs as we walked down the sidewalk. I was with my dad. He held my hand as we crossed the street. He was tall and very strong. I knew he loved me and would protect me from any and all danger. I asked him, where are we going, Dad? Daddy? He said, to see the doctor. I further questioned him, why are we going to see the doctor, Daddy? He said, the doctor is going to check you out and make sure that you will still, you're still well. Finally, we arrived at the doctor's office. I ran in to escape the cold. I was so grateful to be in a warm place. The waiting room was full of people. Many of the people looked sad. Some looked like they were in pain. We had to wait a long, long time. As the nurse called people one by one to see the doctor. Finally, we were called. This was my first visit. The nurse who guided us in had a white dress on, which came to her knees. She also had a little white cap on her head. Let's go into this examination room, honey. My name is Miss Taylor, she said, and my name is William Dullard, my dad said, as he followed closely behind us. Stand on the scale, she said, 35 pounds. She wrote down on the paper book, Sit down, she said. Next, the nurse wrapped a piece of cloth around my left arm. The cloth had a tube in it, and there was a ball at the end of the tube. As she squeezed the ball, the cloth got tighter and tighter and tighter. She looked at it and let all the air out of it. She wrote in her book, lastly, she picked up a skinny glass tube. Put this under your tongue, the nurse said. She waited a while, took it out of my mouth, looked at it, and wrote something down. Wait here, honey. The doctor will be right in to see you, she said as she left the room. What's in that jar, Daddy? I asked as I pointed to it. Those are tongue depressors, he said. What's that? I asked. They are big popsicle sticks that the doctor puts on your tongue and tells you to say ah so that you can look down in your throat. Oh, I replied. I pointed to another jar filled with fuzzy white things. What's that? I asked. Those are cotton balls that the doctor uses to clean your skin, he replied. Right after my dad answered that question, a tall man came into the room <clears throat> wearing a white coat. Hi, Mr. Dillard. Hi, sweetie. What's your name? Renee, I replied. I'm Dr. Watson. He proceeded to go to a jar and pick out one of the big popsicle stick and put it in my mouth, stuck it on my tongue and say, ah, he said. I stuck it on the tongue and said, ah. 
Your throat looks good, he said. Ms. Dr. Watson looked at my chart and said, hmm, everything looks good. Your weight, your blood pressure, and your temperature. Then he proceeded to get something that looked like a long plastic tube with a big, big needle on the end of it. Put it into a tiny, tiny jar and filled the tube up with something that seemed to me to be water. Next, he reached inside the jar, got a cotton ball, and put something on it. He walked over to where I was, wiped me with the wet cotton ball, and put the needle next to my left arm. Put the needle next to my left arm. I was terrified. I thought to myself, oh no, you see he's about to stick me with that big, big needle? Dr. Watson said to me, don't be afraid. All you will feel is a little stick. I cringed as he stuck me. I yelled and started to cry. I was at that point, I would feel anger welling up inside of me. I thought, he hurt me. Dr. Watson put a Band-Aid on my arm and left. <coughs> My dad put my sweater on me, and then I put on my coat. He put my scarf around my neck, and I put my hat and mittens on. I was still very angry. My dad took my hand as we walked down the hall. When he started to go past Dr. Watson, I began to feel very, very bold. I had my strong dad with me, and I knew he would defend me. Don't you bother me no more, I said very angrily. The nurse and doctor laughed at me. I thought, hmm, it's not funny. Thus ends my presentation for today. I hope that you found my talk to be both interesting today. I enjoyed talking with you. My next presentation will air on the second and fourth Friday on the second on the second Friday of next month, excuse me. The second Friday. Please watch it and ask someone to watch it also. My website is uniquely and wonderfully made ministries.com. On the second and fourth Thursdays I publish blogs. On the second and fourth Fridays, I publish videos. You are invited to view them both. My email address is m as in Mary, i as in ice, the word recovery, r-e-c-o-v-e-r-y, 74 at gmail.com. I repeat, m as in Mary, i as in ice, the word recovery, R E C O V E R Y 74 at gmail.com. I repeat, it was in Mary Eyes and Ice, the word recovery. R O C O R O C O V E R Y 74 at gmail.com. Please send me your questions, concerns, and prayer requests. Invite me to come speak with your group about a hot topic on the subject of mental illness. Merry Christmas to you all. We are living in stressful and uncertain times. Inflation is a big problem this year. Another big problem is having in this country is a log jam of items at our city's ports. Many people may not receive their gifts in time for Christmas. These are huge problems to overcome this season. The question becomes, what gift can I give someone that is worthwhile, valuable, of low cost, and will arrive to them before Christmas Day? My book entitled The Warrior Warring Second Edition is worthwhile and valuable because 
and that you will gain a greater understanding about the challenges of mental illness. Many people do not understand what mental illness is and how it affects the people who have it. And lastly, how it affects people surrounding the person. <clears throat> so many don't understand because they believe the portrayed stereotypes. If you are, if you are a family member or a caregiver of someone with such an illness, my book will give you resources where you can get support. There are also resources listed to help a child, youth, adult, or senior citizen who has mental illness, a drug addiction, or a co-occurring condition to find treatment. The suicide epidemic is totally out of control these days, especially during this COVID pandemic. Find out how you can save a life of, by knowing what the warning signs are of someone who is seriously considering committing suicide. When you know what the warning signs are, you can help a person before they end their life. My book is a low cost of $8.95 plus tax. I guarantee if you order the book just a few days before Christmas, it will arrive at your person's home because you will be purchasing it from Amazon.com in the United States. I am the founder of Uniquely and Wonderfully Made Ministries. My name is Renee D. Warrior, and I am the Warrior Warring.